couple of bullets flying through a window of a home in Canton last night. Despite numerous 911 calls, no sign of police until the next day. The Nails Jennifer Aw spoke to the newlywed couple who lives in the home, and Jennifer, they want answers. That is right, Karina. They told me when they called 911, the dispatcher told them police will be there as soon as they can. But police did not arrive until just before noon today, around the same time I arrived at their house. A bullet hole is what's left at the home of Cameron and Desiree Miles. I heard a big crash. Um, I looked and there was glass everywhere. She says it happened when she was making a late night snack in her kitchen last night. The couple telling me shots were fired at around 11 p.m. It was cool and calm as best as possibly, but you know, my biggest concern was my wife. They called 911 once and then twice. 911 dispatch said basically that the officers were busy an hour ago and nobody has yet to come. Yeah, it's going to be a moment. 911, you've already called. When police failed to arrive, she called again. A total of four calls. I didn't feel safe. But Desiree says she was told 911 was for life or death situations only and to not call again. I mean, she almost was shot. Uh, I think I talked to you earlier. Honestly, they said a life or death emergency. I think that's a life or death emergency, especially if you know that there's people shooting in the area. Close to noon today, police arrived questioning Desiree and Cameron about what happened. As for why, she contacted News 5. I contacted you guys because I wanted the community to be aware of what's going on and what happened last night. As for the Canton Police Department's motto of to serve and protect. I don't think they did their job yesterday. The young husband and wife saying they want an apology from the Canton Police Department and for police to just do their job. Most neighborhoods, you know, the cops are there within minutes, not hours or almost, you know, half a day. That's unacceptable. Now, when I went to the Canton Police Station today, the captain refused to speak on camera. Instead, he emailed us a statement saying the police chief is very concerned and will investigate fully. The statement also saying police do not have all the information needed to release a full statement. In the Tech Center, I'm Jennifer Ah, reporting for The Now Cleveland.